What's up, guys? Shalom, shalom. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. Let's get it. Let's go, man. This one's going to be about the warning signs from the Holy Spirit. Man, I've been warned many times throughout my walk. It's been almost four years now. And, um, you know, this is going to be a very, very edifying video. Usually I do my whiteboard videos for this, but I just feel like freestyling because, like I said, I could, I could make this video an hour long if I wanted to. But uh, yeah, it's good. Let's go. Don't forget, guys, to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. The number one thing when the Holy Spirit is warning you, actually, before I get into number one, okay, so there are people who don't have the Holy Spirit and they don't know what I'm about to go over. So if you don't have the Holy Spirit, how do you receive the Holy Spirit? Well, the Bible says, ask the Heavenly Father and he shall give to you. Okay, so that's how you receive the Holy Spirit. A lot of people ask me this question. Uh, it's, the Bible says, makes it clear that if you need the Holy Spirit, if you're lacking it, to ask for the Holy Spirit and God will give it to you. Now, when you receive the Holy Spirit, it comes with change. You're going to have to change. And see, a lot of people, they lose the Holy Spirit because they don't want to change. They ain't trying to repent. They ain't trying to be set apart. You know, be holy. They're not trying to live a righteous, stay on a narrow path. So the Holy Spirit departs from them. And then unclean spirits, demons come to torment them because they rejected the truth. They rejected the only way to salvation, which is Jesus Christ. And, you know, walking in how he walked. Okay. Now, of course, are we going to be perfect? Absolutely not. But we don't make excuses. We're warriors. We don't we don't worry. We're warriors of God. We're warriors of Christ. So let's go. Let's go. The number one thing, the Holy Spirit is warning. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. The number one thing is bad company, guys. This has to be number one for me, at least. Everything that I've been through in life, it was always not, well, everything that I've been on my, on my walk for four years, it was always having bad company, the wrong friend, uh, the wrong uh, family member I was chilling with. You know, a lot of these people like in our life, guys, we have long, like, you know, we were, we hung out with them since we were little children, you know, so we have a strong connection, you know, a strong soul tie with them. And we don't want to give certain people up. Also relationships too. And, you know, one thing about the Holy Spirit is that, is that it always comes with, you know, with patience, of course, like, because when the Holy Spirit is letting you know, it will always let you know this person's about to betray you, just like the Holy Spirit let Jesus know. Uh, Judas is about to betray him. Um, Peter did what he did. The, the Holy Spirit let him know. Okay, so when you have the Holy Spirit, I'm telling you, when people are about to betray you, there's many people, guys, who reached out to me on YouTube who wanted to do, like, videos together or, like, you know, collab and stuff like that, but the Holy Spirit let me know, like, nah, not, they don't have the right spirit. And then a couple months later, you know, they show the true color. So the Holy Spirit is always letting you know, like, okay, don't be friends with this person. Or if you are going to be friends with this person, love them from a distance, okay? Love them from a distance, you know. If they ask you questions, be genuine. But you don't want to, you know, give yourself over to them, your spirit over to them. Because Satan could jump through them, these weak vessels, these people who are not walking in the truth. Okay, Satan could easily jump in their vessel to attack you. Because you chose the ones, you're strong. You anointed ones, you're on fire. So Satan can't get to you. You got to use someone. You got to use the Judas. You got to use a fake friend, uh, the family member, uh, your girlfriend, your boyfriend. You got to use somebody, okay? So always understand that, that bad company. And like I said, guys, the Holy Spirit, when you grieve the Holy Spirit, which pretty much means when you don't obey the Holy Spirit, it's going to come with a lot of curses, guys. A lot of things that could have been avoided. Uh, I mean, there's even some things I did, guys, in the past where I, I, re I didn't reject the Holy Spirit, but I actually I rejected the warning. Yeah, I actually rejected the warning. And even still to this day, I'm going through the punishment, okay? Even the Bible says there are certain sins that will never be forgiven, you know? Um, it's not it's not, um, uh, it's not, not just that the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Now, it will be forgiven by God. Let me make this very clear. It will be forgiven by God, not the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. But there are certain sins that we will always remember. Just like when David committed adultery with that one girl, um, it was never forgotten. There's, it's in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 30 to 36 or something like that. But... Uh, there's a lot of things, guys, that I did in the past where it's just like, and the Holy Spirit was letting me know, like, I shouldn't be with this person or I shouldn't be hanging out with this person. I shouldn't even be t talking to him on the phone, texting. It let me know. And I suffered great punishment. And I don't want you guys to suffer that punishment. I want you guys to learn from my foolish mistakes. Remember, in order to become wise, you must first become a fool in order to become wise. So I did a lot of foolish things and I grew from it. Of course, I repented for my sins. I forsaked it. Uh, and also, when you remove these people from your life, guys, you got to 100% cut them off. A lot of people, they have that soul tie. Okay, they have that soul tie with that person. So let's say that like, they'll block them on something, right? But they'll still have open, they, they still have something where they're connected to where they can allow them to come back in your life. I'm telling you guys, don't even entertain these people. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, bro. Don't even entertain these people. Cut them off completely. Okay, if God's telling you, now, of course, now a lot of people, God actually wants people to... Um, 
you know, your wife, your husband, right? For instance, because what God brings together, no man separate. But some people are dealing with demonic spirits. Some people are dealing with demons, demonic strongholds. Like I tell you guys all the time, just because you give your life to Christ doesn't mean the demons are going to flee away. You got to fight. You got to fight to get those demons off because if you're entertaining those demons, if you're opening up uh, doors for willful sin through your disobedience, okay, these demons could come in. So best believe the war begins. Actually, the war always started, but it turns up, I'll say, for better words. It actually turns up, okay? So best believe, guys, we all know what the scripture says, evil communication is troubling manners, and it does, okay? If you're on the narrow path, when you're a chosen one, you're chosen by the Most High, you can't be friends with anybody. You, you can't be friends with anybody. You can't be chilling with anybody. You're, you're set apart, okay? And it's just, and that's what comes, that's why the Bible says only few will be saved because not many people are willing to go through times where they're lonely, times where they feel like, you know, no one understands them or no one wants to hang out with them anymore. Because best believe, ever since I got on this walk, guys, I have zero friends, like literally zero, okay? I, I mean, there's people who I could, you know, there's like associates, but some who, a friend I could trust that's walking in truth too, I have zero. Even the Bible says that Solomon. He didn't, he didn't find one righteous woman out of the thousand women he was dealing with. Okay, he didn't find one, but there was only one righteous man out of a thousand. So the, which, what does that let us know? That means there's not many people who you're going to find in the, you know, and there's a lot of people I know on social media. That doesn't count like people in real life where I could, you know, because real life is like a different energy to, compared to like social media. But that's the number one thing, guys, bad communications because it corrupts your good matters. Number two, the Holy Spirit is warning you guys when you're giving over to your sins. Okay, now we all sin and we all fall short of the glory of God. So I'm not, so... Always use your wisdom, okay? But when you're always, when you're constantly feeding your flesh, when you're constantly giving in to, you know, your sins, your, your um, worldly passions and desires, right? Your lusts, right? Always understand that the Holy Spirit will warn you because the reason why the Holy Spirit will warn you is because the more you feed your flesh, you're raging war against your spirit. So the more you're, you're, feeding, you're giving over to your willful sin, the Holy Spirit is to get weaker and weaker in that, in, you know, the sin that you're dealing with, you know, like I said, guys, certain sins open doors uh, demonic doors in the spiritual realm to come to mess with you. We, you all think, oh, I'm just a gay, you know, I'm just drink, get, drinking this handy, you know, um, the tiki, what's that tequila that people be drinking? Uh, the Casamigos. I'm just drinking a little, you know, a little something, right? You know, and that little something leads to, you know, you getting drunk. And you see, there's a reason why guys, they call it wine and spirits. Go to the grocery store. They call, they say wine and spirits. And I believe that certain, certain uh, liquor, certain beers, stuff like that, all have different spirits in it. Like I noticed like back when I used to drink Henny, I would be, kind of be more lustful, you know? Or when, when I would drink like tequila, I would be more of like a, um, like a, um, I'll be like a, like a, like a party per, you know, turn up, let's turn up, stuff like that. And it's different spirits, okay? So best believe guys, or y'all getting high, y'all smoking in general, you're opening up your vessel guys. So, you know, be very cautious out here. The Holy Spirit will warn you. Like I said, we all struggle. We all, I, I understand that. I struggle too, okay? I'm not this perfect being without sin, but when you're always giving over to it, the Holy Spirit will warn you, okay, over and over again. And that, which correlates, number three is disobedience, okay? Um, now, of course, when you have the Holy Spirit, it, you have to be obedient. Like, you just have to, okay? If, especially if you want to be on fire. Now, of course, there's always a season when you're weak. There's always a season when you fall short, you know, uh, all, all that type of stuff. But when you're giving over to your disobedience, uh, even if you look at the Bible and start on uh, and Samuel saw where he was being disobedient. David was about to become king and, you know, he tried to kill him, you know, and David was had nothing for love for him and he wanted to kill him. And the Bible says that an evil spirit de departed from Saul. Uh, sorry, sorry. The Holy Spirit departed from Saul and evil spirit from the Lord, from God, tormented him. Because best believe, guys, these demons and stuff like that, God has power over them. God allows them to, to attack you, okay, through your disobedience. A lot of people don't talk about this. Okay, but you know, and I always let you guys know about these demons. The only power they have over you is what you give them. Uh, the devil, these demons, look at that. The only power. That's why I told you guys to guard your guard your energy. Don't be, you know, don't be so free to be so friendly with certain people. Okay, and I know a lot of people don't want to hear this message, and you know, I know people want to believe that everyone has good intentions for you. Like I get it, I understand that, but that's not the case. Okay, especially if you're a warrior for God, you can't be so quick to talk to certain people because. Certain people got don't got your best interests at heart, okay? And a lot of people are just coming in your life, guys, just to use you. Because especially if you're a chosen one by God, you're chosen, you're anointed, you're on a high, you're just on a higher level than certain people, and they just trying to feed off your energy, okay? So be very, very, you know, that's what demons do. They try to feed off your energy to drain you, okay? Now you don't have the energy to do the will of God, because best believe you need energy to do that, okay? And that's why the devil comes to destroy you. Now you feel drained. Now you feel like, oh, I don't want to fight no more. Uh, you feel low. Okay, so that's number three. The number four thing 
would probably, would definitely have to be pride. I will say this, you know, we all know pride comes before the fall. And that when you're operating in pride, uh, self-righteousness, you know, I know it's a lot of people who are religious, they operate under that spirit, the spirit of pride, spirit of self-righteousness. And I wanna let you guys know, you don't wanna operate under that spirit because pride comes before the fall. And the Bible even says that God hates, in Proverbs chapter eight, verse 13, that God hates um, arrogant, uh, proud, and um, and pride and stuff like that. You know, in the evil way, in the frown mouth, do I hate? Yeah, so you don't want to be operating that. When you're a child of God, you want to hate the things that God hates. You don't want to be operating in something that God hates because he's not going to be pleased with you. Okay, and like I said, you don't want to be like Saul, uh, like Saul who was disobedient and the Holy Spirit just fleed from him. Okay, now God, and God judged him. Okay, you know how everyone always says, oh, only God could judge me, which like I said, is not true. It's not biblical that only God could judge you. Uh, the Bible says that uh, the spiritual man judges all things, says a judge righteous judgment. Uh, so there's many verses, but I would actually be afraid when God's judging you because God has the power to send demons to torment you, you know, uh, to mess with you. And it's God allowing that, you know, and when, the, and see one thing I know is too, when the Holy Spirit is departed from you, the spirit of fear or like not departed from you, it can be departed from you, but also when um, you're being disobedient, the spirit of fear starts to kick in. Okay, and now, and now you can start to, now, I don't know about anyone else because God gave me eyes to see, so I could see, I could see when demons are trying to attack. I could see it, bro. You know, they call, oh, you're schizophrenic. That's the agent say, the agent say, oh, you're schizophrenia. Nah, I could see it. Okay, and I, and I, and me being a man, me being, taking accountability, oh, okay, there's something that I'm doing. You know, there's a certain sin, or maybe it could be certain, some people that I'm talking to that's bringing the demons in. Okay, or I'm telling y'all, man, y'all gotta really put on the armor on, be spiritual, be spiritual, be on fire, okay? Like I said, how do you be on fire for, for God, for Christ? To live how he lived, okay? So I love you guys so much. If you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, share this video on all social media platforms, hit the like button. These are the four things, the four warnings. Is it five or four? I think it was like four or five. I, I've been going in, but this is a spirit freestyle. Let's go. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.